What's going on guys? You ask for it and Energy Hookah is here to deliver. So we're gonna start these hookah tutorials with packing our bowl. How do you pack the perfect bowl? Really simple. You gotta always pack around your middle hole. Always pack. One that is directly in the middle. By doing the one right directly in the middle, you're continuing to make sure that it's not burning and baking your shisha. You don't want that to happen because that's how it burns like that. You don't want that to happen because then next thing you know, it's smoking charcoal. You don't want that. On what I was describing, make sure you guys can see that. You want to pack around. See how I left that middle hole open? I always want to make sure that you pack it that way. Now, you always want to make sure that you don't get too close to the bowl. So your tongues, and just press down. Nothing too much, just press down. So it's not touching the foil. Touch the foil, just like you bacon chick. Just like you bacon chick. Okay. You wrap it too tight, you may burn it. You don't want that. You won't burn cheese because then five minutes later, it's tasting like charcoal. You don't want that. So if you pack your bowl pretty light and also making sure that the hole is open, you get that perfect smoke. Now it's time for us to put our foil on top. Shiny part down. Seal it tight. So it looks like that. And then we'll put our coals neatly on top and we'll get to that part right. just a quick recap on all the products that are being used today we are using strawberry alfalfa pre-poke foil as well as our clay bowl all of which can be found on our online store so if you have not already checked that out make sure that you do check that out so you too can smoke along with our tutorials so now that our coals are ready, these things get extremely hot, FYI, so make sure that you use all caution when dealing with these things, because you will get burnt, burnt, burnt. Get burnt if you are not careful, all right? It is perfectly fine if you do have like a little black spot here and there, but your main thing is as long as the coal is majority orange, you'll start seeing that it's going to be ash once you start taking it off of your burner or whatever you're using for your heat resource, um, which is perfectly fine that happens. So, you put it neatly. I'm going to be careful with this thing. All around. Three cubes is more than enough and it all depends on the size of your bowl if your bowl is kind of small you don't want to put three you may need to use two because it's going to make it burn even faster so let's smoke our bowl is neatly packed our coals are hot and ready it is now time for a hookah session disclaimer fyi please make sure that you put your bowl on top of the hookah first and that it's neatly and tightly secured and then put your coals around. I don't want you trying to put the whole bowl and the coals on top and it is falling. We don't want that to happen. Now you're burnt. Now you looking like charcoal. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. So let's take a hit. Those two tutorials are soon to come, so make sure that you stay tuned and ready for when they appear. As we end our very first hookah tutorial, I want to leave on a high note. Make sure that when you guys are doing your hookah session that you set the tone. Have you some good vibing music as you've been hearing throughout this tutorial. 
Uh, light you some candles, light you some incense, light you some sage, your yin and your yang. Just set the tone. Make sure that your vibrations are high in the midst of doing a energy hookah session. All right. If you are around people, make sure that their energy and their vibrations are also matching yours as well. That's how you get the highest level of the energy hookah session. I can't wait to bring you more tutorials. There will be special guests throughout these tutorials. My bad, I'm sorry. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, make sure that you hit the DM and let us know. Keep your energy elevated.